Hi everyone, how's it going? HKUHD here, and welcome to another video. So Sony just pushed an update, which includes the ability to use the Remote Play app over mobile data. And I wanted to show you how to set this up. So to get ready, you'll need the following to use Remote Play. A smartphone or tablet, a PS5 or PS4 console, an account for PlayStation Network, and a high-speed internet connection. So first, download the PS Remote Play app on your mobile device from the App Store. While this is installing, you can set up the PS5 console. On your PS5, head over to Settings. System. Remote Play. Then you can toggle Enable Remote Play. I am also going to change some settings for rest mode, so that I can turn on the PS5 from the Remote Play app. So to do this, select Power Saving. Features available in rest mode then toggle stay connected to the internet. Also make sure enable turning on PS5 from network is turned on. This will allow you to turn on the PS5 from the remote play app. You can leave your PS5 on or put it into rest mode. Next, launch the PS remote play app on your mobile device and sign into your PSN network account. This should be the same one you use on your PS5 or PS4. After signing in, you will be asked for data you provide. Next, you'll be prompted to connect your PS5 or PS4 controller. So select settings at the upper right corner of the screen and then select mobile data. Then toggle use mobile data, then select OK. It is recommended that you turn on notify me when using mobile data. Finally, you can choose the image quality of remote play when using mobile data. Data traffic may vary depending on the video quality you choose. When using the PS Remote Play app, make sure the PS5 console is on or in rest mode. Here is the notification about mobile data. All that's left is for the PS Remote Play app to establish a connection to the PS5. So we now have official support for the PS Remote Play app to allow us to use mobile data to play our PS5. Just bear in mind that it can lag a little bit based on your internet speeds. Ok so that's the end of the video. If you found it useful then drop a like, as it really helps the channel out. If you're new here be sure to hit the subscribe button. Also comment below what videos you would like to see in the future. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.